Hi Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what's coming up for you within 24 hours. Today is the 25th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 8.39 a.m. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's 8.39 a.m. <laughs> Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. If you were to finally guide it to watch this video, this message is meant for you. Even if you're dealing with the same sign, spirits and angels, please show me for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. What's coming up for them within 24 hours? A lot of details in this reading that may or may not resonate with you from the beginning till the end. The moon at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. The full nine of swords, five of cups, and one first. Okay, something is turning around. So what I'm seeing here, the full, is you're gonna you're gonna feel really good about this new beginning, even though the ending ten of swords may have been very painful in the past and six of wands, you know, the only way now is up, okay? Because the ten of swords is like this is the lowest you can get. And the only way is up after that. And if you look at the six of wands, this person is sitting on a horse and it's higher at a higher level than these his supporters here, right? So that means, you know, look how down this is, Ten of Pentacles all the way on the floor. And this person is sitting on the horse. So that means whatever you've been experiencing, an ending, betrayal, pain, sadness, that is all going to be behind you. Number 10 indicates uh, an ending, a completion, but also it can indicate a new beginning. And right next to it is the full. And the full is number zero. So number zero, it's starting from zero. But it's a really good number zero, okay? Because, you know, there's a six of ones here. There's a wreath right here. This card indicates victory. Um success victory success the same thing overcoming some sort of a battle so i see you feeling really 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 good after a period of time of feeling really down okay within 24 hours and then that assault here in any case this is happening very fast perhaps sooner than um you'd expect an eight of pentacles here finally i see you feeling like hey now i can focus on the important things because i've I've got that, you know, over and done with. I can focus on the things that I really want to focus on. Eight of Pentacles could indicate it can be anything. You could be focusing on your work, making more money, or focusing on something that is important to you because Pentacles is something very valuable. So whatever that is important to you, finally you get to focus on it because you've got this Ten of Swords out of the way. And we've got the Two of Swords here, a decision. That, Within 24 hours, you're going to realize that the decision that you have made was correct all along, okay? It was right all along. And with the chariot here, look at this. Four movements successfully, another success card. You've got two success cards. So I see you making a decision that either you have already made this, this decision and you're going to realize it within 24 hours that you've made the right decision or you are going to be making a decision within 24 hours that's going to propel you to success, okay? And we've got the Ten of Pentacles here. Money coming in. For some of you, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Within 24 hours, you could be fixing something at home, um, refurbishing something, making it all brand new, um, renovating or buying a home, working on buying a home. This can mean so many things, right? Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. And it may cost you some money or it might make you some money, okay, for some of you. Some of you, may, you might be slept with some bills here and you go like, Ugh, now I have to work harder. <laughs> okay, but again, for some of you, it's like you're going to be making money from this because you're investing your time and your energy into it. For some of you, you're going to be spending money because you're trying to fix something in your home 
um, again, whether, whether to the redesign it, redecorate it, or to fix something, it's all going to be okay, right? And, you know, the moon here sometimes can indicate, you know, depression, sadness, uncertainties, uh, confusion, gossips. So maybe, maybe within 24 hours, some people are going to be gossiping about you, or you may be gossiping, gossiping about somebody, okay? But overall, I just feel like the moon and the fool right here, it's like everything is going to be clear up, okay? Everything is going to be made very clear. You're going to feel much happier. And whatever you've been working on, Eight of Pentacles, it will be completed. Or your hard work will pay off. In the chariot here, you're going to feel good. I'm sensing you're going to feel good. And the Five of Cups here is in one first. Finally, you're going to see all the positives in your life. Oh, if this didn't happen, you know, Ten of Swords here. If this didn't happen, I wouldn't have been where I'm at right now. So it's a blessing in disguise. Okay, let's see more. I'm talking a little bit fast because I drank some coffee. <laughs> you know, uh, but when I first started drinking coffee, I was wondering and I didn't know the effect. I was like too young and nobody told me. And I don't know why every time I drank it, I would, and I didn't know it was the coffee. I, would, I thought it was just me. Why is my heart pumping so fast? Why, why are my hands shaking? Why am I feeling so nervous for no reason? <laughs> and then, and then, and then after a few times, after I drank coffee and I was feeling this, I was like, ah, oh, it must be the coffee. And I'm, I asked somebody, like, yeah, I guess there's, you know, caffeine in there, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, that makes sense now. But um, it still affects me, but not as bad as before, but it, it will make me feel like I need to do something very fast. Like, I have some, like, I'm very nervous. <laughs> But at least I know that's the coffee and it's just not me, like something is wrong with me. Anyway, we've got the Ace of Swords here in my first, and then we've got the Tower in my first. Okay, the cup, see? You're walking away from a sense of confusion, a sense of uncertainty, sadness. And Ace of Swords in my first is walking away from, um, again, like something that you're not clear about, the Tower in my first. Uh, walking away from a Tao moment that has happened in reverse, you know, for me it has already happened, it looks like it, and all of that is gonna be behind you within 24 hours. You're gonna feel so good about this. You, some of you may be angry with something, right, from your past that, um, that was not true, that was not fair, that was uncalled for, like. I don't understand because, you know, the sword in reverse, I, I don't understand because there's no clarity. Something that you couldn't understand, why did it happen? And I feel like within 24 hours, you're going to feel like, yeah, I'm glad it happened because I am where I'm at right now or I'm who I am right now because of that. So again, there is a blessing in disguise that I'm seeing here and you're going to feel that way, okay? Look, Wheel of Fortune, there's a big change. You've got a lot of major counters here. Big change, change for the better. I'm hearing red. Red color is going to be your lucky color within 24 hours. Something bright, yeah? Bright, bright colors. Red, uh, something in that red, orangey, yellow uh, spectrum, okay? Those colors. Red, orange, yellow. I think these are going to be your lucky colors so wheel of fortune is a very lucky card so you're gonna attract i feel a lot of uh, luck within 24 hours and it's basically saying hey you know don't miss it don't miss it it could be just putting yourself out there six of wands and actually starting doing something here eight of pentacles um, you know, Wheel of Fortune can indicate lottery, <laughs> but I don't, um, I don't encourage gambling. I don't like to gamble. If I was to gamble during Chinese New Year, it's just for fun. I'm Malaysian, but I'm Chinese Malaysian. So it's just for fun. Like, I will be prepared to, like, say, I, 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 I'll tell myself, okay, I will only play $10. And if I, if I lose it all, that's it. I'm going to stop. I'm not going to you know, play more. I'm not going to put in more money. That's how I 
would tell myself it's like once a year but most times i don't even really gamble and um but it's a popular thing you know like chinese new year all the chinese people they like to gamble and then drink and then eat um but i feel that for some you know I'm, I'm, i was gonna give you an example about something that i've heard this guy was asking god um to fulfill his wish to win lottery <laughs> and then but he never bought a lottery ticket so something about god telling him you have to buy a lottery ticket like so you know it's just an example as in if you want something you want to attract something you have to also make the move you also have to take certain initiatives okay so it looks like within 24 hours if you take certain initiatives about it could be anything that you want to achieve here uh it looks like it, it's you're going to attract a lot of positive uh positive um energy because you're going to be very lucky within 24 hours here okay a lot of money i'm seeing here 10 of pentacles eight of pentacles something to do with travel something to do with fame as well six of wands popularity winning some sort of competition or winning lottery okay <laughs> I don't really like to talk about lottery because some people would ask me, hey, can you give me numbers for my lottery? <laughs> and I say, I'll always say no. No. <laughs> my mom is one of them. <laughs> anyway, and my mom is a water sign too. I just realized that. But anyway, take care, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. For those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos and every time when I go live, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care. Hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.